We're doing an episode now. We're helping a young man who, for a while, was was I believe talking to you. Um, and you know, I, I probably don't have to tell you that you're not Andrea Russett because I'm sitting next to Andrea Russett. Got an email. So, it's a long subject. I thought I had figured it out, but being catfished was the tip of the iceberg. Dear Neve and Max, my name is Thaddeus. I am a former corrections officer from Texas. I was having a lot of problems at home recently and I needed someone to turn to, but I felt like I could not turn to anyone I knew. I needed a stranger's perspective. Enter Sarah Jackson. Sarah was amazing. She was able to give me the advice I needed to hear. I bared my soul to this girl. After a month or so, Sarah admitted to developing feelings for me. I found myself doing the same. At one point, Sarah wanted to meet. This meeting never happened because she had a seizure and had to be rushed to the hospital. Not long after, apparently her ex abducted her, but she called me the next day saying she had escaped. Great excuse, Sarah. What the hell? <laughs> that is when I had enough. That's when I had enough. I decided to look into Sarah and after hours of searching, found that her real name was Ashley. I kept searching and came across the real girl in the pictures, who happens to also be named Sarah. This guy is smart. She told me that Ashley has been doing this for years. This is not just for me or the real Sarah, it's also for her future victims. Please help me get answers and also make it stop. Well, this is an interesting story. Here's a guy, Thaddeus, who knows what's up. The heartache's over. The mystery is basically solved. But now it's like there's a person out there that's doing a lot of destruction. We should stop her. All right, Thaddeus, let's get him on the horn. Be on your best behavior. He is a corrections officer. That's true. Hey. Thaddeus! You do have the coolest name ever. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, like give us the story. I'm a former corrections officer. That seems like a pretty rough job. Uh, it can be. If you can just do your job the right way, they'll respect you, you won't have too many problems. So we just read your email. This girl seemed to really affect you. What happened? Well, I needed somebody to talk to because I am married, but I was planning on leaving um, my wife. Do you and your wife have kids? Yes. I don't like a broken home. I'm from a broken home, I don't like it. But for the past two to three years, I have been unhappy. I didn't want any friends' advice. I didn't want my mom, parents, whoever. I needed a stranger's view on it. I found Sarah through the people you may know. I added random people, guys, girls, it didn't matter. Just somebody who I could talk to. Sarah gave me good advice. She told me, you should try counseling to try to save your marriage. When I talked to my wife, we came to an agreement that, you know, being separated is something that we needed to do. About a week later, Sarah admitted that she started falling for me. After about a month or so, things started getting crazy. We were supposed to meet. She called me before she got on a plane. She messaged me saying how excited she was. She couldn't sit still in her seat. About 40 minutes before being there, I didn't hear anything from her. No texts, nothing. It was about 24 hours after that, I finally got a hold of her and she told me that she had a seizure and her mom came and picked her up and took her back to Oklahoma City. She always came up with excuses why we could not meet. Stories of kidnapping, hypothermia. It's pretty much where I had the last straw of it all. I want to figure out who this real person is. So I kept doing research and I found a profile of Ashley and everything that she posted on her real profile, she also posted on her fake profile. Plus, you actually found the girl in the photos. I did. I messaged the real Sarah. I told her about Ashley and my wife and everything. And that's when Sarah Marie told me that Ashley has been using her pictures and her name for seven years as a catfish. Wow. So I figured this happened to me for a reason. Maybe this is the reason. If I can help Sarah and put a stop to it, I'm going to do it. Does your wife know all about Sarah and Ashley and this whole situation? Her that I had moved on as fast as I did. I believe this is punishment for me. Um, I believe I deserve this um, because she didn't deserve that. So basically, you feel like a sinner for having pursued this relationship outside of your marriage. Yeah, I feel bad. And out of your own guilt, you want to expose Ashley. Yes, I'm hoping by confronting her, this will actually stop. 
I want to be able to do something good out of all this negativity. All right, well, if you think this is going to help you, I'm down. We can help you figure some things out. We can also help put an end to this for lots of other people. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Thanks, guys. See ya. He is punishing himself right. publicly in order right. to cleanse himself of his sins. He developed feelings for another woman while still married. He feels badly about it. The real stakes here. Well, I got a lot of packing to do. You go to your room. All right. I'll pack up my room and we'll uh, head to Texas. Tex. Hello. Hello. It's really you. It's, it's really me. You obviously know why we're calling because yeah. your face and pictures of you have been used now for a while. I think it's gone on for about like seven years now. At this point, I don't think she realizes that I am a real person. I confronted her. She knows that I know. She's told me she was gonna stop. She clearly hasn't stopped. I just wanna stand in front of her and have her look at me for like two minutes and realize, oh my gosh, this is a real person. Well, what we're starting to realize here is that this girl, she's leaving a real wake of destruction. Yeah. So I think it would be good for her that we get as many people that she's messed with in front of her to like help her understand that what she's doing is really messed up. Like an intervention. We're here in Texas with Thaddeus. Okay. We're not that far from Oklahoma, so you could meet us here and then we could go all together. Road trip. We know where she lives. So at the very least, we can drive there. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Who better to confront Ashley than the girl who she's been imitating? I'm scared, but let's do it. Sarah, we will see you really soon. All right. Bye. Bye. See you when you get here. We've got proof from the real Sarah. We've got our girl, we know where she lives. The only thing we don't know is what's gonna happen when we get there. Let's do it. I think that's her. Uh <laughs> Sarah! There she is! Hi! Hi, how are you? Yeah, how nice are to you? meet you. Welcome to Texas. Thank you. The plan is we're gonna go over to meet Thad. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This could be an opportunity, finally, for you to sort of set the record straight. Yeah, I've found a handful of guys and they have found me, but I know there's more people out there that think they've talked to me. I'm so nervous right now weird because like usually the person who's nervous to meet is the hopeful meeting the catfish but you're now the real person meeting the hopeful and it's like you're worried he's just... probably more nervous yeah. than yeah than anyone. i bet hey Come on, Eve. sarah hi sarah hi, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you too max you know let's go inside here we are okay I'm like, this is so what is awkward. It? Is, it, is it weird? It's definitely awkward. <laughs> it is awkward. It's awkward for me to meet her because she was not who I was talking to. Can we hear why it's awkward for you? Just having countless guys find you and think that they were in love with you, it's just the weirdest, it's awkward. Yeah. Why don't you give us your whole side of the story? Okay. I'm not sure how long it's gone on for. It first came to my attention back in 2010. I received an email from a guy named Sam. Hey, Sarah, I have wasted almost a year of my life talking to a girl that claims she is you. Can you help me clarify who you are? So I was quick to write my URL on a piece of paper and take a picture of it. Sam, he emailed me back. Can't believe this. Thanks for taking those photos. I feel like a fool. We exchanged phone numbers and type it in my phone. Then I would say probably about three years later, I get a friend request from a guy named Joe. And Joe was in a relationship with me. And I thought that was the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, who is this guy in Florida that thinks he's dating me? So me and Joe start going back and forth. And then I explained to him, this girl's been impersonating me and I want some information on her. Like, you know, where does she live? I want a phone number. He gives me the phone number, I type it in my phone and it's saved under Sam. She was pretending to be Sam to try to get my photos. I was wow. like, whoa, I just got played. This was actually Ashley behind this Sam profile. That's sick. Why? What? At that point, Joe sent me this picture. She's oh. manipulating you she... to take a picture. And write whatever she wants on it. She photoshopped the she... social media accounts. Pretty good job. I mean, so like the creepy. angle and... I mean, that would, if I was asking for evidence about something and she sent me that, <laughs> no, I would really? I would buy it. It's gotten to the point where I've had everything private and she still gets in there. She has pictures that I've posted of. Like, my friends have posted of me. 
Like she's deep yeah. into this. And I'm telling you, hundreds. I'm not, I'm not saying just a couple. I mean hundreds of photos of you. It's so much deeper than her just taking my photos. Like it's my sister and my niece. 11 years old? Um, 12 years yeah, old? Yeah, 12. Oh my God, that's so crazy that she knows that. See, that's... Like honestly, Sarah, I think she believes that she is you when she talks to people. I sometimes think that too. But then at the same time, I don't think she thinks I'm a real person. I think that she uses that persona to either run away from her life or what's going on. I don't know, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. This is it, guys. Oh, boy. Obviously, you're eager to meet you. Hi, Beth. Hello. Sarah. Uh, Hi. Just to be clear, you are the one who has been using Sarah's, Sarah's pictures. pictures. Yes. Do you have any remorse whatsoever? Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, I've told you a lot of lies, and I apologize for that, honestly. You started using Sarah's pictures like eight years ago. Mm -hmm. What happened eight years ago? Um, the first thing that happened would have been I was engaged and uh, I was supposed to be married within two days. He called me and told me basically, uh, we're not getting married. There's a girl that I've been cheating on you with. She's pregnant and she and I are going to get married. Um, so at the time I let myself get really, really down about it. It makes me sad to hear you say that. I sympathize with you. But at the same time, I have my own issues, you know, and I don't run out and steal someone's identity. And You're right. To me, it just sounds like an excuse. I understand that it, it most definitely sounds like that, and I can't, I can't blame you for feeling that way. What's weird to me is that you, you got burned. I mean, what happened with your fiance, that's messed up. Why put yourself in a situation where you enter a cycle of you then, in turn, hurting all of these other guys? I don't want to hurt anybody. But you have. Yeah, you've hurt a lot of people. And, yeah. and they've told you that you hurt them and you just keep going. You find new people to hurt. We've talked about this before. I caught you. You right. told me you'd stop. Then you saw my pictures with my niece and you decided that that would be okay to use. How do you think that makes me feel? Totally violated and that's not even my kid. It's right. almost like you literally are trying to take my life and like pretend it's yours. There's no excuse for any of those things. What makes Riot Nicole Riot? My life is an online riot? Hey, Neven Max. I can't believe I'm writing you guys, but here goes. My name is Nicole Riot, and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm 25 years old, and for the past nine years, my identity has been used to catfish other people. Wow. So she... She's a mask. A lot of people use her pictures. When I was 16, I joined MySpace, and I was on it all the time. I had thousands of followers from all over the world and was really open about myself and my life. My online friends started telling me that they'd seen my photos on other MySpace profiles. These were obviously fake. Then I started being called a catfish. That's when things became too much. Don't call me a catfish now. Strangers would message me believing I was someone else and accuse me of lying to them. They believed that they were having an online relationship with me, sometimes for years, and were pissed that I had disappeared on them. I was paranoid and it started to affect me in real life. I was dating someone at the time and this whole thing ended up breaking us up. A couple of years ago, I joined Facebook and discovered there were fake profiles of me on there too, but this time it was worse. They were using my photos and the name Nicole Riot. So they were using her real name too. Right. That's crazy. Wow. I'm just tired of this and I want to take my identity back. I think you guys might be the only ones who can really help. 
Wow, that's a pretty intense story. What a past. All right, let's 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 call this girl and find out a little bit more. Here we go, ringing. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How's it going over there in Salt Lake? It's awesome. It's actually nice weather today, so. <laughs> Do you like it there? Does anybody like it here? <laughs> it's all right. We saw your email, a lot of questions. So just sort of tell us how this all got started and give us a little bit more detail. Okay, well, it all started when I was 16 and made MySpace and I used to have thousands of followers. Okay, but you're, but you're not like an, you're not like a social media star. You're not like an Instagram model. No, I'm definitely not a model. I don't post like scandalous photos or anything, so. Hmm. But you did achieve some level of kind of social media fame and you had a lot of pictures up there. And so anyone could have just kind of stolen pictures from that account to then use them later. So one of these profiles or a couple of these profiles got you into hot water with your ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. What happened? She found some other profiles on Facebook and they were using the exact same name as mine. So she kind of automatically assumed that I made other profiles to talk to other people and we would fight about it a lot. It just kind of blew up in my face. How long were you dating her for? A few years, maybe two or wow. three years. Wow. Yeah. So that was a pretty serious relationship that got broken up. Yeah. And I feel bad for like these other people, you know, who think they're dating me. It's not cool. Yeah. I want to know like what you can do to help me, you know? I think we can figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah. All right, Nicole, we're going to meet you in Salt Lake City. We're going to figure out how to fix this. It's and gonna, It's going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, see you soon. Okay, cool, thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. It's morning in Cleveland. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. There he is. Mm -hmm. Guess who's downstairs in the hotel restaurant? Ryan. Yep. He's here. He's here. What's up? What's wow, up? this is romantic. Under the lights. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Max. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, thanks for meeting us. No problem. You grew up here in Cleveland? Yeah. How did you end up in a 10-year relationship with Nicole on the internet? 10 years ago, she added me. I'm like, cool, hot chick. Well, then we started talking, but we never talked on the phone. So it was all like, you know, text communication. Did you ever think, hey, this might be a catfish? Kind of, sort of, now I'm thinking that, but. <laughs> Here's why we're here. We got a call from Nicole, the real Nicole, okay. who lives in Utah. And we were just in Salt Lake City, and we met Nicole, and she told us that for the past like eight or nine years, there have been a number of profiles made of her that have been out there talking to people. Copycat. And so, unfortunately, you're one of the victims. So sorry. Well, the real Nicole's gay. She's not even into guys. It's definitely like a big like letdown, you know? Like a hit in the face. Now I'm wondering who I'm really talking to. Well, that's what we want to find out. So we brought the real Nicole with us because she wants to try and tell this person, whoever it is, they need to stop pretending to be her. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go upstairs, bring Nicole down. Yeah. Hello. Morning. What's up? How you doing? Good, tired. So, Ryan's downstairs. Okay. It's very sweet. A little bummed, obviously. But yeah, it'll be a little weird. Yeah, it's gonna be a little awkward. But, but it's okay, we're all there. Okay. So, you wanna come down? Yeah. Okay, come on. In the back of your mind, were you like, yeah, this girl's great, and one day I'm probably gonna meet her? Yeah. That's like, my ticket. Yeah, because you know, our picks were hot, like we talked every day, like the vibes felt right. So. Weird now. Alright. Oh my god, okay. There she is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Ryan. Hi, I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you. Do you want a hug? I'll give you a hug. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is this weird? Maybe. <laughs> a little bit. 
Yeah, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, but like, what? It, I mean, like, what does it feel like? Well, you're the real Nicole, so like now I know you, but now oh, I want to yeah. know like who I was like, yeah, chatting it up with. Were you like suspicious that it was a catfish, like ever? <laughs> like, well, cause like we stopped talking for like a little bit, so like it honestly like it left my mind, but now it's like it makes sense from like it now, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like it's hurting a lot of people. I don't like that, cause I'm not that person. So now we have to sort of figure out how to reel this catfish in, I guess. Yeah. Got nothing. There's somebody walking way, way down there. What? Like, you see someone? Yeah, they're like walking up this way. Do you see them? It's a girl. It is a girl. Oh. Is it? Holy I. You know, know this person? Her. Really? Yep. Hi. Hello. Obviously, I was the one running the fake profile, so. What's your name? Erica. Erica. Yeah. Max. Nice to meet you. Do you guys know each other? Online, yeah. I added her as myself on my Facebook page. Why? Um, I think I was slowly making that transition to tell her. Because I think the first thing I said to you was like, wow, that's crazy how people are using your pictures. That was to get her to accept like my friend request and me as a person. And then we'll eventually kind of come clean about the whole situation. And obviously, I know Ryan. It's Erica. Mm -hmm. Ryan? That's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Oh, I did not even recognize her. Yeah, I low key dated Ryan like 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Do you remember that? I remember that, but I didn't recognize you walking up. Yeah. It's been a long time. Ryan. You guys dated in high school? Yeah. Like, oh, we okay. dated. You dated for like three weeks. Continue. Okay. So really the profile got started is because when me and Ryan were dating, um, that was kind of during the time my mother was just not about like relationships, can't talk to boys, nothing. So we were told not to talk to each other, like no communication, nothing. Me being, you know, head over heels kind of person, I was like, I need to talk to him. I, you know, was on MySpace. I think I had MySpace and Facebook and there was this like account called like Fake Busters, where they used to bust like fake profiles. Her pictures were one of them. I mean, she had like a YouTube video saying she was real. I was like, dang, like this is kind of like the perfect person to use. You know, if someone wanted to call me out. Well, hey, here's the YouTube video saying like I'm a real person. <laughs> I was the pawn. <laughs> But it, it kind of enabled me to still talk to him and him being kind of receiving of it. Other than that, it's kind of been like a one and done kind of conversation with other people. Glad I know that now. Well, we know that you did reach out to like other local Cleveland people. Yeah, um, that profile was kind of the almost like last word profile. I mean, throughout the years of like high school and just like bullying and all this, you know, kind of just drama, people would always block me on my personal page and like would say whatever, then block me. And I'm like, really? Okay. So I just hop on as Nicole and, you know, get my last word in and then that was it. Why not just shut it off? I, you can just deactivate a profile. Right. Um, so... Why is it still up? I mean... like using her pictures and her name. Right. And then separately as yourself, like, being friends with them, it's like. It's kind of my life up in a way. And me personally, and I'm not saying that this isn't an important issue, but I had other things going on in my life that I was just kind of like, all right, I'll get to this later, so. Please help. My past, AKA Jacqueline, is back. Dear Nave and Max, my name is Felicia, and I'm a 19-year-old girl from a small town just outside of Pittsburgh. About five years ago, I ran into an unfortunate situation with a fake profile of a girl named Jacqueline, but all the pictures were of me. This girl was really rude and insulting to others. Then she took it to the whole next level. She changed her name from Jacqueline to my real name and started adding people from my local high school. The profile began to harass people, telling my classmates that they should kill themselves. Like a 
cyberbully just assumed her identity. That's a weird mind. Jeez. 2010 and 2011 were rough years for me. Being a girl in high school is difficult enough. Dealing with harassment over the internet is just the icing on the cake. In the fall of 2011, Jacqueline disappeared, and I thought I'd finally gotten rid of her for good until a few weeks ago, I'd received a message reading, member me, she's back. I have no idea why and what she's capable of. I am so mad, but also scared. I've tried ignoring it, I've tried confronting the fake profile, and nothing's worked out. I feel like you two are the only people that could get to the bottom of this. Someone's haunting her. Well, and not just that, this is a girl who is trying to start her life. So if Felicia's now out in the world and looking for jobs, and like there's this other profile of her that someone finds when they search her name, that could have a terrible impact on her life. Let's get her on the horn. Well, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. No one ever asks us how we are. <laughs> how far outside of Pittsburgh do you live? About an hour. I actually work in the city that hostess at one of the sports bar restaurants. We read the email, but start from the beginning and just kind of tell us how it happened. I remember seeing that I had someone who made a fake profile of myself. Jacqueline Linkwood was the name on the account. How old were you when it started? 14 or 15. I started noticing that she was posting very vulgar posts disgusting sexual things. Um, eventually she ended up changing her name from Jacqueline Lakewood to Felicia. She started adding people from my local high school. She was adding parents. She would tell people they should kill themselves or call them fat and ugly. She was using the account to go on other people's pages and write really nasty things. Yes, just destroying my reputation. I lost a lot of friends at school. I couldn't even get people that I knew personally to believe that it was a fake account or that I was being victimized. How long a period of time was this going on? It was probably close to two years. Wow. I used to come home and I'd cry to my mom. I never understood why. Has it ever crossed your mind as to who this could be? My friends and I noticed that her friend group were from like all over the country. So we didn't think that it was really anybody that we knew personally. The only reason I know it's a girl is because she used to call me. Whoa, what? what? She would call yeah, my friends and I. She used to use a really high pitched, fake voice and kind of like cuss us out and tell me that I was fake and that she was the real person. And then she would hang up. My mom actually ended up tracking the number and it tracked to Maryland. Eventually, I took a proof photo. I posted that. I'm like, this is proof. Like, I'm the real person. I'm thinking this is going to end it all. Well, then she started editing my pictures. So then people were thinking that she was the real person. Eventually, it went away. Was there a something that happened? It actually, it just kind of stopped. Until a couple weeks ago, when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had a message from a Jacqueline Linkwood account, and she was like, hey, hey, bitch, remember me? This is insane. I thought it was done and over with, and here it is all over again. Sit tight. We're going to make our way to Pittsburgh, and we'll see if we can't catch this imposter. OK, thank you. Bye. 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 Who knows how many other fake accounts they may have made for other people. This could just be the tip of the iceberg. I think we need to make contact. I'm going to try and call, see if we can get her to agree to meet up with us, and take it from there. I want answers. You guys wait here. I'm ready. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, this is Neve. You may have heard of a show called Catfish on MTV. What? <laughs> who, who am I speaking with? Tracy. Oh, cool. So I got your number off of a weird Facebook post saying that you were like deleting the account and this is the number people should reach you on. Uh huh. I was trying to see what your connection is to Jacqueline Linkwood. Jacqueline Linkwood, yes. That's me. I'm Jacqueline Linkwood. <laughs> so, you seem okay talking about it. Is this it's not something that you're like hiding? It is something I'm hiding. Like I've been pretending to be her for like a long time. People don't know I'm really her. But you were very quick to expose yourself just now. <laughs> I'm very like open with my life. So yeah. I was hoping we could meet up. Your Jacqueline Linkwood profile has, has been around for a while and it's affected a bunch yeah, of people. Yeah, it has. 
Yeah, and a lot of people have sort of been involved over the years. It's fun being chocolate. Like, I'm a different person loving her. Okay, well, we would like to meet you. Um, I don't, are you in Maryland? Yeah. Okay. Who am I gonna be meeting up with? Um, well, it'll be, it'll be me and Max and Felicia. Me or something. Why would she do that? <laughs> because, because of me pretending to be someone I'm not. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case. That's not something I would want to happen either. Alright, cool. I'm down. Okay, so I'll speak Tomorrow's to you. Tomorrow's my birthday. So. Tomorrow's yeah. your birthday. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, yes, this will be one to remember. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god. I can't believe how cheerful and like excited she is to talk about her evil alter ego. Did you yeah. make contact? Yeah. Oh yeah. So she picks up, very cheerful. I said, I'm calling about your relationship to Jacqueline Linkwood. Right away. Yeah, that's me. What? Yeah, no, like really like she laughing and whipping. giggling. That's scary. It is making me mad. Yeah, I am. I'm pissed. Well, I, I mean, do you want to go? I'm definitely concerned. Um, even meeting face to face makes me a little nervous because she's quite repulsive online, so I can only imagine what she's like in person. In person. And if she's the same person, I mean, that's a little frightening. But I'll go. Hi. Tracy, right? Yeah. How you doing? Good. Are you kidding me? So, I'm here with someone you might recognize. Oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> I don't like her. She's still all of Jacqueline Linkwood's friends. She just said you stole Jacqueline Linkwood's friends? She said you stole Jacqueline Linkwood's friends. So I heard that correctly. I think it'd be good if we all came in to talk. OK, fine. She can come in. Why don't you guys come in? Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm Max. And Tracy. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> OK, so you seem relatively chipper. Yeah, I'm always cheerful. It's just my personality. Are you putting on an act right now? Or no, is... this is really me. This is really you? This is really me when I'm me. I'm just completely <laughs> energy. I work with kids, so. Like in a daycare? Yeah. OK. They love me so much. They're like my best friends. They're like my little puppies. They're so cute. Obviously, you, you understand why we're here. You admitted that you created this profile. So we were hoping to hear a little bit more about that. I was bored with my life, so I wanted to be someone else. Right. Like, the whole Jacqueline Lincoln thing was like Miley Hannah, you know, Tracy by day. On the internet, I was Jacqueline by night. Is that Hannah Montana? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. That's how, like, I, like, did everything. Like, I come home from school, bang, I'm Jacqueline, not Tracy anymore. How old were you when you started doing that? I was 14 in middle school. So now you're about 20. 20 today. 20 today, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's your birthday. What could you do as Jacqueline that you couldn't do as Tracy? Oh my gosh, um, I don't know. As Jacqueline, I could talk to anyone I wanted and like bully people and stuff. It all comes back to when people bully me. So like, I have to bully other people to, to get revenge. But why take out what people do to you on other people who didn't do anything to you? Because they bullied me too. Like people, they're like, you're fake, you're fake. But you, but you were, were fake. fake. But they didn't know that. A lot of people don't like Felicia because they <laughs> associate her with your Profile. I really don't like Felicia. I think she deserves oh, yeah. it. She thinks she's a model and she thinks she's all that. I'm still mad at her. Jacqueline is popular. She had all that popularity and Felicia ruined it. That's why I don't really like her. Should I, I apologize mean, for ruining that? Yeah. Because I, I'm sincerely <laughs> yeah. sorry. Jacqueline was like a real person. Well, she wasn't a real person. I was the real person. <laughs> Do you take drugs? Dress. I never took a drug in my life. I'm just naturally happy and hyper. Just out of curiosity, I was wondering why you seem so proud of this. 
because like I created Jacqueline Quinn and I'm proud of creating her. I'm proud of it. It really helped me. When I got to bully people online, I felt so tough. And what if someone you cyber bullied killed themselves? Really? Yeah, really. I wouldn't cry. Like, would you want me to cry? It's not my fault they killed themselves. They made that choice themselves, so it's their fault, not mine. Maybe people really did that because you told them to. That could have been the trigger. That doesn't bother you. It's, it does not bother me. It's not my fault. I did not hold a gun to their head saying, go kill yourself. Yeah, but, but some people that have really low self-esteem. Well, I have a high self-esteem. Look, yeah. this, this is relatively pointless, what's going on right here. Am I done with her? Yeah, I mean, okay, we're done good. for now. We're all done okay, for now. Good. Yeah. Felicia, are you going to say happy birthday? <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> now let's get to the task at hand. What do we got? Ooh, catfish casting. Oh, oh from man. casting. That means something's up. Hey guys, you should check out this video. Maybe you can help. The oh hell? boy. What is this video? Andrea Russett. Wait, I know I her. This. She's a YouTuber. Yeah, I follow her on Twitter. So before this video of craziness of... She's got three and a half million followers. That's a lot. Who am I to try and stop believing? Wait, what is she talking she about? Does. Let's see. I'm sure you guys are already aware there's been literally thousands of profiles using my pictures online. And a lot of them, I kind of just brush it off because they're ridiculous. They can't even spell my name right. They're saying crazy things. But I recently found some profiles imitating my family. And I just feel like once you involve my family, it's kind of just taking it too far. So I'm here to ask you guys, how do I handle this? Leave a comment below. Wow, it's got almost 40,000 likes and hundreds of comments. A lot of people tagging me and you. Her fan base is calling us. We've yeah, been summoned. The fans have spoken. This is a crowdsourced episode of Catfish. Well, I guess we should get in touch with her. All I right. think I follow her. And I, I think follow she follows her. me. So I'll message her. All right. Hey, Andrea. Just saw your post. We would love to help. Hit me up on Skype. Okay, now we wait. Part of the contract right. of being a celebrity is that you become public and people can do things with your image. Right. But you do not f with people's family. No, that's not cool. She must know the account, who the, which account. Oh, oh here she is. Wow, that, that was fast. Really fast. Hey, hey, Andrea. Andrea. Hello. What's up? How are you? I'm good. So how long have you had your YouTube channel? Um, I started YouTube in like sixth grade, so like 2009. Thank you very much for the 5,000 plus subscribers. How old does that make you now? I'll be 21 next month. Oh, wow. I feel good. And when did you start developing kind of your following and fame? In 2009, because I had one video go viral. And then from that, I worked at my radio station in my hometown, Fort Wayne, Indiana, which like helped grow the YouTube stuff. And is that where you are now? No, I live in LA now. Okay, nice. Yeah. So for the last five years, you've known sort of internet fame, and I'm sure all of the wonderful things and all of the sort of weird, creepy things that come with that. Definitely. I've pretty much been seeing people use photos of me as profiles since 2010. I mean, I've seen profiles asking people to send them nudes. I've gotten emails from people that think they're engaged to me. Wow. These people have been sending them money, like crazy, crazy stuff. For my family, I just feel like it makes me worry more and it just concerns me a lot. How many different accounts are there? There's me and my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother. Are they talking to each other? Yeah, they'll like each other's photos, they'll comment. So there's a conspiracy. For sure. When did the accounts get made? My sister's account goes back to 2013. Whoa, but you only just now saw it? Yeah. Wow, that's creepy. I've had some really scary run-ins with people, like stalkers, so it makes me worry more for my family if it really gets out of control. We gotta make the internet safe for YouTubers and civilians alike. So if you're in LA, that's great. We can come there. We'll get to the bottom of it, but are you willing to go the distance on this. It's gonna get weird. Bring it on. All right, bye. See you soon. All right. We are going to see actual Andrea right now. It's kind of weird to meet the person that I've thought that I was talking to for so long. Part of me doesn't even believe it. Try not to fall in love with the real Andrea. All right, you ready to do this? I hope so. No turning back now. Super 
bizarre. Hello. Hi. Welcome What's back. Up? How are you? Good to see you. You too. You remember this guy? I do. Hi. Yeah, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hello. Hey. I'm Alex. Andrea. This is Alex. It's good to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, Alex dated Andrea Russet. What? He thought he was dating you for a while. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Pretty odd. So that was just a big moment that just happened. Yeah, it was... yeah. Oh my god, I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Maybe you should give him a hug. Hey. Aww. Give me a hug. Bring it in. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's good to meet you too. <laughs> Come on in. Why don't you yeah. kind of explain to Andrea how you got mixed up in all this to begin with? Well, um, I was playing a festival, and then I got a message from the Andrea Russet page. I just thought it was a sweet, nice girl trying to talk to me. Mm -hmm. So the conversation just kept on going until the point that the family started talking to me. Oh my God. And friends, an ex-boyfriend. There was a fake profile for your ex-boyfriend. They literally like created like a world. Your world. Your world. They they recreated your entire them. world. And your best friend, which Arden. we knew about, Arden. Yeah. And Arden's boyfriend. She messaged him and her boyfriend messaged him. Arden messaged you too? Yeah. This is like mind blowing to me. Why? So what we need to do is start figuring out who's actually behind these profiles. We could keep scrambling around or we could start we calling. Call, call yeah. the number. Let's find her. Subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. They were the other ones, right? They're seven or six numbers. Oh, right. Okay. Text now subscriber you were trying mail. to reach is not Again. So two text mail numbers, same person probably. Let's try this one too. Hello. Hi, is this Andrea? Uh yeah, who's this? Um my name is Neve, and I uh, make a show called Catfish. Oh, uh, hi. I'm not sure if, if you've heard of it or not, but um, we were just trying to yeah, get in touch. Yeah, I'm familiar. Oh, okay, great. We're doing an episode now. We're helping a young man who, for a while, was was I believe talking to you, um, and you know I, I probably don't have to tell you that you're not Andrea Russet because I'm sitting next to Andrea Russett. So we're dealing with a situation now where I need to know if you're involved with this because we're trying to you know, figure some things out and make some sense out of what, what is an otherwise very confusing scenario. And I think you hold a lot of the answers that we're looking for. Yes, I understand. Um, well, I don't know if you want to talk about this, but um, well, uh, as far as all that goes, You have the right person. Okay, so so, you, what and and what is your name, right person? Um, is it possible if we went over that, like? Well, you don't have to tell me your whole name, but but, what should I call you? Um, uh, Zoe. Okay, Zoe. We were hoping we could connect with you because we'd love to meet up with you and find out what's been going on um, and how you're involved in all this. Right. Um, I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, I, um, I kind of owe it to you guys to get some answers. Okay. Where are you? Are you in California? Um, I'm in Atlanta. You're in Atlanta. All right, well, so I will text with you um, and figure out, you know, time and place, but we're going to fly out there tomorrow and probably meet up with you either tomorrow or the day after. Okay. We will, I guess, see you soon. All right. All right. Bye. I have so many questions. There are a lot of questions now. So Did many. this start as wanting to impersonate you? Did this start she as crazy just... in love with you? How involved is this woman with your life? Is she super obsessed with you? Who has this much time? for multiple years. What the hell's going on here?
Hi. Nice Zoe, right? Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Neve. How you doing? Why don't you come on out? Some people I'm sure you recognize. Yeah. Can I start by saying um, to you especially, like I'm really sorry for using your pictures, not only of you, but like of your family. It was never anything personal. At the time, I was being really selfish. Like, that's the best excuse I can say. You didn't stop to think, like, maybe this is a really bad idea? It did cross my mind, but like I said, I was being selfish, and I didn't care. So you didn't stop to think about the multiple people that you were messing with? You didn't think about any of that? It wasn't ever to seriously be vindictive or anything like that. That's not what I wanted to do. But that is what you did. It is what I did, but that was never my intention. Well, like what I'm... was your intention? Yeah. <sighs> to find something that I didn't have, put on a mask, and be able to connect with people. And how and why did you choose Andrea? Honestly, I Googled pretty Tumblr girl, and she popped up, and I was like, OK. But then, like, people would bring it to my attention, like, oh, this counts fake. Why aren't people tagging you? Why don't you have family members? So I decided to create other profiles so people wouldn't, you know, suspect. You said you didn't want to be vindictive, but like I've seen the things you said to other people. Yeah. It wasn't like polite all the time. I understand. Yeah. So that's pretty vindictive to say stuff like that and to manipulate people. Yeah, I know. We picked Alex out of a hat. Are we to understand that he's the only person that you had an emotional relationship with as Andrea or as any one of these fake profiles? Emotionally, yes, but I did talk to other people. How many? I honestly, maybe three other people. Three other guys that you were flirtatious with and who thought uh -huh. that they were moving towards some kind of a relationship with And are with somewhere Andrea. out there thinking they talk to me and thinking that I'm this person that you portrayed me to be that I'm probably not. Yeah. I've heard you when you're sincere. This doesn't seem sincere. Here's the thing. It was I, never... You know me well. Yeah. You know me very well at this point, and you know that I'm a caring person in general, and I like to help people, and you know that. And I you know. had every opportunity to turn that around and just say, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you because you're a really good person and I like, I'd like to show you that I am too. I agree. It was really wrong. I'm sincerely sorry, but that's what happened. I can't change it, but I am sorry. What, what scares me a little bit is how resolved you seem about all this. It seems rehearsed. It seems a little canned, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. OK, look. I feel like there's still a barrier that we're trying to kind of get around or yeah. see over to understand how you really felt about all this. Why don't we just, like, collect ourselves for a second? It's fine. She really doesn't get it. I don't know. She is I mean, no grass. I mean, like, I've heard her emotional. There's no emotion in this. You don't think it's just because she's nervous? I don't think so. She does seem pretty sort of stone cold. Well, she's just got a rationalization for everything. Right away, like, without thinking, she just had it ready. 